Hey there, we all know that a good solder joint starts with proper preparation. That means having a straight cut, clean and sanded pipe, and also ensuring that it's deburred. And here's the problem. Do you know the three most common mistakes folks make when soldering pipe? Let's go ahead and jump into this. Mistake number one, applying very little solder. A lot of times, people are afraid of overusing solder and they use just a little bit. This can result into an incomplete fill around the pipe, leading to a non-tight water seal and eventually leaks. Even if it looks good from far away, it might not hold up over time. And the mistake that we always make in this scenario is trying to fix it by adding even more solder. Now you have two different solders in one connection. This is a ticking clock that's gonna lead to a future leak. And if you find yourself in this situation, my recommendation is that you stop and start over. Clean those fittings, clean that pipe, and start all over again. It's better to do it right the first time. And also, the opposite side of the spectrum is having too much solder. Not only this creates drips and messes, but also there's a chance you're creating an obstruction for the water to flow. And here's an example of using too much solder at a 90 degree elbow. The solder would eventually flow and sit right on the bottom of the elbow. And the situation gets worse when there's a pipe on the other end of the elbow. And in this case, you have just created a problem that you didn't realize. Determine the amount of solder is very easy. All you need to do is bend the tip of the solder the same size as the pipe. For a half inch pipe, you should bend about half inch. And for a three quarter pipe, you should bend it at about three quarters of an inch. That trick will give you the right amount to use every time. And lastly, mistake number three is misusing flux. Here's a visual explanation I made. On the left, I apply flux. And as you can see, the solder flows much easier around the pipe. And on the right, where I don't have flux, the solder barely adheres to the pipe, making it not a good bond. The solution here is to buy good quality flux. Cheap flux will burn faster, ruining the solder process. You also need to use clean flux and brushes. Never use a dirty brush or a can of flux that is dirty. And also, keep in mind, you need to use the right amount of flux. You just need enough to go around the pipe and cover completely. Using too much flux is messy and wasteful. And using too little flux provides poor bonding. You won't have a proper solder flow leading to a weak joint and having to redo your solder all over again. To make your soldering job easier, consider getting a plumbing kit like this. They are very inexpensive and available at pretty much any local hardware store. If you need help in finding one, check the description below and we're going to point you to the right place. And remember, soldering copper pipe, it's actually an art. It does take patience and practice. But if in the end, you ended up with a bad solder, check out this next video where I'm going to help you repair that solder. And by the way, my name is Carlos and I have a channel on YouTube called DIY Plumbing Guy. If you like this video, please check the other videos under my channel. I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.